Hi my friends, today we model this part and this is the drawing. We start with this contour, dimensions are here, radius 94, 100, 20, 50. Let's start. New standard millimeters IPT. New sketch. This plane. We place X to the right. And we use arc center to place this uh, arc then we draw lines vertical horizontal down back and and vertical okay trim one, two. Equal these two lines, then dimensions radius ninety four, one hundred. this was not okay <laughs> vertical must be this it is aligned with the other because this point was aligned with this this is 20 and this is 50 fully constrained sketch I forgot to mention the uh, height 213 finish extrude to 13 ok Next is this internal cut, this one, dimensions 44 and 30, and this 20 is this uh, side. Okay, we use the plane. XY for a new sketch then we project this line and also this line to place here a rectangle F7 44 is this distance and 30 is the other finish sketch extrude this area not this not other symmetrical cut all the way okay now we create this hole with diameter of 62 centered on this arc 
hole, face, center, 62, through the part. Okay. Another hole is this one, this at 102. The diameter is 62. We select this face for a new sketch. We place a circle somewhere here, diameter of 62. This circle is aligned with the center point. The distance is 102. Finish sketch, extrude the other direction all the way through the part. Okay. Then this uh, internal cut diameter of 120, 65, and this is uh, 44, already created. We use the same plane, XY, for a new sketch. Then, F7, we project only this line. Then, we draw a rectangle in this position. This line is a center line. It is aligned with the center point. Then uh, this is 120 and this is 65. Finish sketch, revolve with cut. Okay. Now we focus on these two symmetrical cuts. You see here the placement, radius 60, distance of 1 of 6, distance of 32, and the position is at 48 from the center point with a width of 17. Good. Let's create that face at 48. We use the plane YZ and we move this to minus 48. Then we use this for a new sketch. F7 circle number one circle number two they are equal they are on the same vertical the diameter is uh, double of the radius 60 multiplied by 2. It was a homothetical movement of both because this point and this point are on a line. And the center of the circle was placed on that line. You understand this. Now I move down and we draw a line 
from center point to center line and we apply symmetry this point and this point to be symmetrical about this axis the distance of one circle is 106 the other distance is 32 finish sketch extrude with cut one area another area symmetrical and cut what is the width 17 okay we hide this plane and we have uh, that two cuts now this one two three holes placed at 30 degrees from this uh, axis on a on an arc with the radius 75 the dimension are metric 10 depth of 25 length of thread of 20 let's do this we select this face we have a center we use this arc with this center and having this uh, position you understand that uh, we can place on the same vertical these two points to make it symmetrical you see this is symmetrical the radius is uh, 75 we draw two lines to the center and another one to the midpoint then we make all these four entities as construction we have possibility to place one two three points and we place here the only 30 degrees because this is symmetrical finish sketch and <coughs> hole that hole is uh, not 62 of course but it is uh, threaded we select isometric profile we select 10 as uh, diameter metric 10 then uh, a distance of 25 five and another distance of 20 it is already placed here okay now we can see here that uh, threaded holes the last features are chamfers five at 45 is here then two at 45 once for both ends two three yes okay we select this edge i keep press the shift key on the keyboard and I select chamfer 
chamfer of 5. Okay. Then I select 1, keep press the shift, select 2, select 3, select 4, for chamfer of 2 millimeters. Okay. Now I see that this dimension is wrong. Not 5 at 45, but 15 at 45 is the value. Oh, this is a great mistake for me. Mea culpa, my friends. So we go back to the part. We select chamfer 1, double click. We place here 15 and we also select this and this. Okay. Now let's see what is the volume. I properties physical update and we select this, copy, close, drawing, double click, and the new value is just the same. I cancel the new value because it is identical. This was written by myself here it is not a dimension if i i apply a dimension you see here something interesting 15 yes you know uh, this uh, uh, mention is created by hand i don't have automatically a dimension there Okay, control Z and let me apply the material which is uh, still carbon with uh, semi polished faces by default. I select view I select default IBL and I change it to default lights now we can compare the two parts and you see they are identical good that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye